Hey guys, welcome back. It's Matt here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of June for 2021. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, just before top apps, I just want to give a shout out to the guy who made my t-shirt and my profile picture, artist.hardic. You can go ahead and check out his Instagram. You can also check out his t-shirt store. He will make a graphic for you of your face and you can go ahead and get it printed on t-shirt just like this one right here. And it's got my channel name right down below. So if you do want one of these made, even just a profile picture or you want it on a t-shirt, I've even had it on a birthday cake then you can go ahead and contact him. Link is down below as well as his Instagram. So just before we get into it, I would like to ask you guys if you could subscribe. I'm trying to reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers still, so that would be much appreciated. But taking a look on my device, as you can see, I'm using a Pixel 4a 5G. And this is the stock launcher that comes on the device. It's the stock icons. And I've got a couple of widgets on my home screen. And I've also got a really nice gradient wallpaper. These are both apps that I'm gonna suggest for this month. But taking a look at the first one, it's called Material U for KWGT. And this is a really nice Android 12 inspired widget pack. And honestly, it just looks really stunning. As you can see, this clock here on my home screen is from the pack, but let's just dive right into it. And you can see, some of them are really strange, and honestly, it might be personal taste, which ones you like, which ones you don't, but some of them do look clean, including the calendar, the clock. I really do like these music player ones down here. And then you also have these kind of toggle ones as well, where you have like four different toggle buttons for your Wi-Fi, brightness, Bluetooth, power saving mode, whatever it may be. And then the weather widgets are probably one of my favorite ones personally on this list. They are very clean. But yeah, there's not too many on this list, but it does get you sort of into the feeling of Android 12, and it's an add-on for KWGT. So you will need to download the KWGT app first, but I would recommend that. The second app on the list is called iOS Widgets. This one basically ports over some of the iOS widgets onto your Android device. If you like that look, and maybe you're a little bit of an Apple fanboy, but you're rocking an Android device, you can go ahead and make use of these widgets. Even if you're not an Apple fanboy, you just like maybe a specific widget, this is really great because it's a standalone app. You don't need to download any third-party apps or anything else. Just download the single app and the widgets will work. So super nice. When you click on the actual widget, it will show you on the home screen what it will look like. They do have light and dark mode themes. And then here's the weather widget. Some of them are paid, but there is a good amount of free ones. As you can see right here, I've got a few on my home screen, including the clock, the battery, as well as a music player and one of the toggle widgets as well. So super clean. The first two apps are definitely really nice for people out there who want to spice up their device a little bit and try out some new widgets. Number three is called short. So this one basically goes ahead and grabs a URL and shortens it into a smaller URL so you can share it. And it's just a little bit easier and less cluttered, especially handy when you're posting down in the description of your YouTube videos, whatever it may be, having shorter links is just really handy. And not only does this app do that, but it does go ahead and track how many people have clicked your link and you can view the analytics. But basically how it works is you click on this plus down here, enter your URL, and then it will create these cards on your feed. When clicking on them, you can go ahead and view the shortened URL, the time and date which you made it. It will give you a picture, brief description, and you can go ahead and edit this and share it with your friends. And it's just a really nice, simple way of simplifying your links. Coming up at number four is how I got this wallpaper that I'm using right now. So there's a bunch of gradient effect wallpapers in this app and they are really nice. There's a bunch to choose from, but if you don't like any of these, you can click on the create button in the middle and you can add your own colors. So say we add kind of like a teal color, then we want to add sort of like a pinky purpley color and we can add like a greeny kind of color. And yeah, it does look a bit interesting, that wallpaper, but you can customize it yourself. I really like it. It's just super simple. And yeah, I would check that out. Coming up at number five is Whisk. Whisk is a great community for people who like to cook. If you're really into cooking and recipes, this is an app you're gonna to wanna to check out. So over on the home feed, you do have a community section. So you can join various communities that maybe make simple food or food that's fast to make or food that's vegan. And you can go ahead and join these communities and everything people post will 
be that topic. So this one here is 10 ingredients or less. So every recipe within here will be 10 ingredients or less. So super nice that you can join all these communities and you can really fine tune what recipes you're looking for. But then you can scroll down and it's got a bunch of different cultured foods. So you can get Asian food, specifically Chinese, European, Indian, Mediterranean. The list really does go on. And once you want one of the recipes, you just click on it. It will tell you the rating, where it comes from, the ingredients you need, how long it takes to cook. And it's got the instructions there as well. But something I like is it gives you a health score. So you can kind of break down all the stuff that's in it, really. How much fat, sugar, salt, calories. This is just really handy, especially if you're trying to keep track of your diet. This is definitely something you're gonna to wanna to check out. And another favorite feature of mine is that you can convert the units, so you can use them in metric or imperial, so Americans and Europeans are covered. And then you can go ahead and change the serving size, which goes ahead and adjusts all the ingredients and how much you need of all of those. So really handy app for everyone who likes to cook. I cannot recommend it enough. Check it out, whisk. Number six is called Snapdrop. This is basically a AirDrop equivalent, but for your Android device. So if you wanna go ahead and easily transfer files or photos or whatever it may be between various Android devices or your Android device and your computer, you can go ahead and do that. So jumping in, it's super simple actually. It just pretty much looks similar to the AirDrop on the iPhone. You go ahead and add your file and on the other device, you just need to be nearby. It will pop up with a little bubble. You click it and it will go ahead and file transfer. Something else really nice is you can go into your browser and type in snapdrop.net. This will allow anyone on any platform to go ahead and receive files, which is just really awesome. Number seven on the list is Orange Teal. I cannot go without mentioning this app. And I have mentioned it a few times actually, but it's just had this drastic new update and overhaul, and it looks really, really clean. So all you do is you go ahead and load in a photo. So maybe this photo right here looks pretty nice and as you can see there's a bunch of filters to choose from so you can scroll along and you can choose which filter you want if you want to give it a dark spooky vibe or a vibrant punchy vibe you can go ahead and do that and you can go into the advanced settings fine-tune it a little bit more change your highlights your shadows and then you can go ahead and save it super easy app to use and it just makes your photos look stunning now number eight on the list is called Blockada. this one is kind of like a VPN once you go in you go ahead and turn it on it will then go ahead and set up a VPN and it will block all the ads throughout your entire Android device. So whether it's on the web, whether it's on YouTube, in various apps on your device, it will go ahead and block them all and it is free. So if you wanna block some of your ads and have a cleaner look on your Android device, check out Blockada. Number nine is called Wobot. Wobot's kind of cool. It's maybe not for everyone, but it is really handy all it does is it checks in on how you're doing and you can talk to it kind of like a psychiatrist or you know, somebody to give you a little bit of help or guidance in life. And it's really handy because it uses AI so you're not relying on any other human actually typing back to you. And it also means that privacy is really secure as well because you're not revealing anything to another person, but it's super nice. It just checks in on you. It asks how you're feeling, you know, what you've been up to, you know, your mental state and it keeps track of all that and it tries to keep you positive. So really cool. You can go into the topic section and it's got a whole lot of topics to choose from. You know, whatever's happening in your life, you can tell it and talk about it with this AI chatbot. And overall, it's just super handy to try out. It does track your mood and it's just nice to be able to scroll back and see your ups and downs in life. And the last on the list is called Mindtree. Now this one is something that you might wanna use if you're stressed out or you're just frustrated with something, you can jump into Mindtree and it's got a bunch of different soundtracks which are just super relaxing and there's a really nice clean interface. You can use these cards and you can swipe through and you can click on the topic, say difficult emotions or a restless mind and you can put some headphones on and it will play some really chill music which will help calm you down and it's actually really helpful. So not much else to say other than these are the top apps that I found for this month. Let me know what you guys think down below. Remember to subscribe, 50K is just creeping up. It's just almost there. If you guys could subscribe, I just really wanna reach that goal. It's just, it's been a goal of mine for about, well, what is it, six years now? A lot of YouTubers reach there before me. A lot of re YouTubers never reach there, but I really, really wanna creep up and reach 50K. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.